Something is in the air at Ben Borton's family farm at Moree, and it has made spotting weeds and understanding crop variability plain and easy. My interest in UAVs stem from trying to understand the variability within our paddocks and, and find a way to collect data that um, I had some control over. The Nuffield Scholar is using his unmanned aerial vehicle to deliver high resolution images, providing him with valuable crop information throughout the season. If we were to use a uh, near-infrared near sensor, we're able to collect biomass data and that biomass data can be applied to um, variable rate fertiliser application. So using, collecting this spatial data is um, valuable in, in improving that productivity, um, putting more fertiliser down where we need it and less so we don't. Using his UAV, crop scouting is proving much easier, helping him provide vital information to his agronomist when inspecting the property. If an agronomist comes in, he might look at, say, 20% of your farm. He might uh, make a recommendation based on only seeing a, a, a small portion of your farm. Whereas if you were able to present them with a, a high quality, high resolution map of your farm, and together you can discuss um, areas that you think your agronomist should look at uh, based on that image, then you might see areas um, or, or miss less areas that would be of concern. Based just north of Moree, Mr Borton and his family operate Gilroy Farms, which is a 2,000 hectare cropping operation where they grow wheat, barley, chickpeas and sorghum. Through his Nuffield Scholarship, which was sponsored by the Grains Research and Development Corporation, Mr Borton recently travelled to Africa, Eastern Europe, the United States and Canada to learn more about UAV adoption in agriculture. Farmers over in the US, if you look at the, um, some of the statistics, they are buying UAVs. Um, it's, it's just be a matter of me trying to find out how they're using them and um, so we can catch up with them and um, I guess maybe they face some of the hurdles that, that I'm looking at now and if I can learn from them and um, bring some of those ideas back to Australia that's the, that's the whole idea of the, um, the Nuffield Scholarship. Mr Borton says his UAV has been set up to provide him highly valuable imagery of his crop but at minimal effort. The data I see most value in is at high resolution um, still images and the way that we get a, a one continuous still image of a paddock is we set the plane up to, to fly a course over the um, entire paddock and as it's flying up and back over the paddock it's collecting hundreds of still images, high resolution still images and then the process um, after the plane's landed and you collect the data is you, you need to get all those still images and you need to somehow um, merge them all together. As far as uh, setting a, a mapping course, what we do is uh, on the, the laptop computer, yeah, basically a Google map uh, will come up and you will draw a boundary around a paddock and, and map a path and um, that's all G GPS referenced and then that's yeah, downloaded into the plane.